<clears throat> shalom, shalom. What's going on, brothers? You know, I've got a short little article I want to read on right here. Now, this article, I think that's ABC right there, if I'm mistaken. Well, the, 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 the title goes on, The U.S. Military Takes UFOs Seriously. Why doesn't Silicon Valley or Academia? The government wants to know if these unidentified objects pose a military threat, but they also represent an opportunity to advance science and technology. And um, as you see right here, they capture an image through satellite of the chariots of the Most High Yahweh by Shem Shai. These are the chariots of the Lord. Uh, they have a new name called UAPs, which it's Esau has given them a different name. Uh, An identified aerial phenomena. <laughs> you know, well, Esau, let me get a first scripture. Let me go. Because we, we the Israelites, we know, we know what, we know that those are the angels through the scriptures. You know, we know those are the angels. You know, those are the vehicles of our salvation. You know, the Lord has revealed to his children through the scriptures that those are the angels, man. And we know this 100%. We can prove it through the scriptures. But Esau has no idea. He doesn't know. Well, the elites, the international bankers, they know. They know the scriptures. But your average, you know, six-pack Joe, you know, in the world, they that's why the scriptures. I'm going to read it too right here. Okay, let's go. All right. Uh, this is Jeremiah 10, verse 1. Hear ye the word of the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus said the Lord Yahweh, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. You see? So the heathens are dismayed, but not us. You know, this is why they give them names like unidentified aerial phenomena. They don't understand. You know, you see the average uh, Edomite, and even our people, you know, that that are still, uh, don't have the understanding of the chariots of the Most High, that those are the angels. You know, they they get shocked. They, 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 they get excited. Oh, my God, what is that? Oh, my God, you know? So, you know, we know what they are, you know? So, uh, let me see if I a little something there. Let me see if I read a little bit of it. Okay, let's read right here. In February, for instance, one of the biggest innovators of this century, Elon Musk, was asked, "Was he was he was he thought about the recent Pentagon acknowledgement that Navy pilots have seen objects flying in out of in our airspace using advanced technology? We can we can't identify." And that's true because what you have to understand that these chariots, these angels, these vehicles are not from this world. These vehicles are from a fourth dimension. They're from the fourth dimension. They come from the spirit world. You know, they. This is this is where uh, this technology is beyond this world. Esau can't even understand the technology that the Lord has bestowed upon his angels in, in his creation, man. They're fourth dimensional beings. These are extraterrestrial celestial objects, vehicles. You know, they have, when you read in the book of Ezekiel, you know, it talks about the power of these uh, chariots. You know, they disappear, they appear. They could be uh, one moment in the sky and in the blinking of an eye, they just zoop up into the space. You know, they camouflage, they can um, cloak, they can cloak, you know, into different clouds and and shapes, you know. They, this beyond Esau's comprehension, man. So let's read. Um, 
Let's read objects flying in our airspace using advanced technology. We can identify, of course not. Let in let alone understand or explain or reproduce. Must answer was honestly. I think I would know if there were aliens. And honestly, this response could have come from any number of prominent scientists or industry figures. Musk non-answer was revealing because it suggested that he wasn't aware of or interested in basic unclassified facts about military sightings of UFOs or that the government is looking into the possibility that they are made from advanced technology that our science can't yet figure out. Of course you can't figure out. This, these these are, like I said, these are spiritual celestial technology from the fourth dimension. And the Lord has revealed to his children, us, that, you know, what, they, what that they are the angels. I'm going to get one scripture. I'm going to end it there. Uh, we're going to get Psalms. This is the book of Psalms. It's a class. Everybody's aware. Brothers know about this scripture. You know, 104. Let's go. Let's go. Let's, let's, I'm going to start at the top. I'm going to get to the point. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 104, at the top, verse 1. Bless the Lord, my soul, O Lord, my God, thou art very great, thou art clothed with honor and majesty, who covers thyself with a light, with light as with a garment, who stretched out the heavens like a curtain. The, the universe is vast. The Lord spreads it. It's infinite. Verse 3. Who layeth the beams of his chambers in the waters, who maketh the clouds his chariot, who walketh upon the wings of the wind. You see? So these clouds, these chariots, these so-called UFOs, those are the angels of the Most High in the firmaments, in the skies, in the waters. When it talks about the beams and the chambers in the waters, it's talking about the firmament of the sky. Verse 4, who maketh his angels, you see? These are the angels. They are the ones that are maneuvering and, 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 and controlling these vehicles. You know, the angels have power to, to fly on their own. They, they have the power to appear as humans and um, shape shift. But they also maneuver these vehicles that are in the skies. Okay. Who make of his angels spirits, his ministers a flame, a flaming of fire. Okay. So I hope that's edifying, brothers. All praise to Yah Bashim Yah Shai. You know, hey, Esau is marveling. He doesn't understand. But we know those are the chariots of the Most High Yahweh. Bashim Yah Shai. Shalom.